Okay, so in this example, we need to find x and y. Now, if we look at x, we don't know x, but we do know an angle, and we do know a side length. We also know that this part of the diagram forms a 90 degree angle, which means it's a right triangle. What can we use to find x? How do you solve right triangles? So katoa. So let's label our sides of the triangle. Do we know this side length here? From here to here, do we know that measurement? No, we know that the total distance from here to here is 2,000, but we actually don't know this little part here. So in relation to this angle, 750 meters is located where? In relation to this angle. Opposite, good. And here's the right angle. X is located across from the right angle, so it's the hypotenuse. Which ratio are we going to use for opposite and hypotenuse? Sine, cos, or tan? Sine. So, sine, what's the angle? 75 degrees is equal to, which side's opposite? 750 over, do we know the hypotenuse? X. Cross multiply, solve for X. Can we multiply sine 75 times X? Do we know what X is? No, so we're going to leave that there. 1 times 750. How do I isolate X? Divide by sine 75. We're trying to isolate X, so this cancels out. We need to divide the right side by sine 75. So what's X equal to? 750 divided by sine. Okay, so if we round it off to one decimal place, we get approximately equal to 776 decimal 5 meters. Now we know that X is 776.5 meters. So we have an acute triangle. This is an acute triangle. We need to find Y. Do you know two side lengths and an angle in between? We have two side lengths and we have an angle in between and we need to know the opposite side length. So what are we going to use to solve this? Cosine law. Okay, so let's label our triangle. Which part of this triangle will I label as C? Good, we're going to call this angle C, which means this is side length C. Doesn't matter which one I call A and B. If this is angle A, which side length uh, side A? 776. This is angle B. This is side length B. So we're going to use the cosine law to solve for side length C. We know A, B, and we know the angle. All we need to find for this question is C. So let's plug it in, simplify, and isolate. When we simplify, yeah, round it to one decimal place, we found that C, which is the value of Y, is approximately 1,949.1 meter. The second part of this question asks you to find angle A. Now that we have three side lengths, we need to know one unknown angle. We have another known angle. Can we set up a ratio here? So what law are we going to use? Sine law. Good. So we're going to take side A over sine. Do I know A? Angle A? No, I don't know this angle. That's what I need to find. And what ratio is that equal to? Which ratio am I going to use, B or C? I don't know angle B. Can I use an unknown if I already have one unknown? So I'm going to use side length C, which I just found. 
over sine 75. 75 degrees. Good. Okay, you can't use B because that's unknown. We have to use a ratio that's known. So cross multiply and we're finding an angle here. Okay, so to cross multiply, can I multiply this? It's unknown. Can I multiply it by something that's known? I don't know what A is, so I'm going to leave it as sine A times 1949.1 equals, can we multiply these two things together? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be 776.5 times sine 75. Okay, we're multiplying these two together. How am I going to isolate A? Divide by 19... 49.1. So I have to divide this side by 1949.1 to cancel this out. So that's going to give me sine A. What is 776.5 times sine 75 di divided by 1949.1? What do you get? When we simplify this part of the equation, we should get 0.3. 8, 4, 8, when we round it to four decimal places, this gives us the ratio. We need to know the angle. What are you going to do to find an unknown angle? Inverse. Angle A, when we use the inverse operation, shift sine 0 0.3848 is equal to approximately to the nearest degree is 23 degrees. So this angle here is 23 degrees. Can we use um, properties of interior angles of a triangle to find B? What do all triangle, what do all angles in a triangle add up to? So if this is 75 and this is 23, what does angle B have to be equal to? Okay, so angle B is equal to 82 degrees. And that is how we solve this triangle. Made with DoodleCast Pro.